Hi everyone, I'm back. So I know this is what everyone's been waiting for. I'm going to do a new, um, another video on the Divine Masculine and how he is in his mind space. My guardian angels and spirit guides, please, Russian Gypsy Fortune Telling Cards, tell us, how does this Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does this Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Please, Russian Gypsy Fortune Teller Cars, give us an accurate depiction about how the Divine Masculine feels about the Divine Feminine. Please show us how does this Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine. Russian Gypsy Fortune Telling Cars, how does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Okay. Thank you, spirit guides. Okay. I'm just looking for pictures that are aligned. That make a, sh a image together. So I thank you for your patience. the other one? Oh, right here. Let's see. Am I missing anything else? I feel like I'm There were just two. All right, so I'm gonna read it from the book. The first one is actually a very positive card. Um, so the first one is you will hear pleasant news, you guys. If you've asked a question, then you know that you will hear a positive answer. This is also a good time to seek advice or favors from those higher up than you as they will be inclined to help you. So you guys might hear something positive from them. It's saying it's something positive. Um, and then I have, now this one, this one isn't positive at all. It's an unpleasant meeting or encounter. <laughs> Let's see. An unpleasant meeting encounter. This could be an unpleasant conversation or lack of one with a sales clerk, a run-in with your neighbor, or an upsetting meeting with your former lover. Sometimes people are so absorbed, absorbed in their own problems or so generally busy that they present an abrasive side of their nature. Any encounter with them is unpleasant and may make our blood pressure go up. This is a wrong reaction. We should acknowledge that the problem is with the other person and not let his or her bad attitude affect us. It only takes one bad apple to spoil a whole barrel. Therefore, detach yourself from the bad apple, give him or her a big smile, and proceed with your business. Follow the Russian proverb, don't listen with your ears, but with your feet. In other words, if you don't like what is being said, just leave. <laughs> um, so a lot of them probably feel like, I don't know, if maybe you and your divine masculine had a negative conversation where you told him how you felt and you just left it at that, you know, and I, I feel like 
honestly, I feel like a lot of us divine feminines kind of did that where we just kind of like gave them like our, <sighs> I'm in the Ariana Grande mode where it's like, thank you next, thank you next. You know, that song really feels like it resonates with me. Um, and, and you know, that's how they're feeling. Like they feel our vibe. Oh, I feel bad for them. I really do. I just, but at the same time, you know, despite what happens, there's good news coming in. Um, so it's a positive, you know, between us and our twin flames, regardless of what happens, we're always connected anyways. And it's always going to be, you're always going to have those feelings. You're always going to have that bubbly feeling inside. Um, okay, so now I want to know. I want to know. I've got sparkles on my hands here with my kids. Ari. I'm trying to look for the one How? Okay, I want to ask the spirit guides. Spirit guides, please tell us, will this divine masculine reach out to the divine feminine? Russian gypsy fortune telling cards, please tell us accurately, will this divine masculine reach out to the divine feminine in the future, in this lifetime? You know, in this lifetime, will the divine masculine reach out to the divine feminine? Will he put on, um, put in efforts? to reach out to the divine feminine spirit guides and guardian angels i'm asking in this lifetime will this divine feminine hear directly from the divine masculine will this divine masculine reach out to the divine feminine in this lifetime spirit guides please tell us the truth you know and that can be any time i know a lot of us are curious will this divine masculine reach out you guys you guys you guys we got like the best card ever okay checking to make sure i didn't meet lose anything else or like did i miss anything else Wow, this is a really positive card, you guys. 24. It's like one of my favorite. Love will ignite your heart. Oh my God. This generally means the passionate type of love. It can mean that the man or woman of your dreams will appear and sweep you off your feet. Oh my gosh. Or it can also mean that your love for someone you already know can be rekindled to passionate intensity. Success or good times often stir up our emotions with the res I'm sorry, emotions with the result that we experience strong ur surges of love. These feelings are natural and we should enjoy them, whether they are toward those around us or someone new. The picture tells you that love will ignite your heart, and that is all. The feeling of love is what is important, not what you might do physically. The picture doesn't give you license to go and have sexual intercourse with anyone you might have strong, loving emotions toward. That is another matter that you have to decide on. However, the picture does tell you to enjoy the emotional aspect of loving someone. So, there's a lot of love here. And obviously we know that. And then we also have 
like this card I really don't like it's the mountains and and it says a treacherous enemy is trying to catch you be on guard beware of people around you a co-worker could be after your job or your boss could be looking for an excuse to fire you a burglar is casing your home looking for an, uh, an opportune time to break in a spouse is looking for an excuse to leave you the picture is not meant to make you paranoid, but it does warn of a danger at this particular time. This is not the time to relax or be slothful. It is a time to do your best at work and at home so that no one can catch you unawares. Uh, sometimes we are not aware of people who mean to do us harm. When the picture comes up, take a closer look at the people around you to see who the enemy might be. You don't have to do anything. Just be careful around the, that person. Hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do a card. I'm going to clarify on who that is. Cause I really don't like that card. 45 is the pig. Okay. So the pig is positively a prosperous and happy year. The picture in this position is always welcome as it indicates a good year for you. It does not necessarily mean that you will re get rich suddenly. Rather, it means that within your present circumstances, you will be very comfortable. You will not need you will not have many money, excuse me, like financial problems. Life will be easy, comfortable, and free of any major economic problems. Well, that is great because the pig also symbolizes earthly uh, pleasures. So, wow, I'm thinking you guys, it's saying a year. So maybe the next year, again, I feel like that's confirmation that for many of you guys within the next year, you will hear from your divine masculine because you guys have the pig and the heart now what is this treacherous enemy about i want to know spirit guides can you clarify who's involved in what you're referring to about who this treacherous enemy is please show us spirit guides more information on what this treacherous enemy is who is this treacherous enemy who is trying to hurt either the divine masculine or the fem? oh fuck oh excuse me Help me understand a little more, please. Wow. Spirit guides, please help us understand what you mean by the treacherous enemy. Please, spirit guides. Spirit guides, please help us understand who this treacherous enemy is. Oh, shit. You guys. I have the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that the treacherous enemy is actually the karmic. That the divine masculine, a lot of them are trying to be like, trying to have, they're trying to figure out ways to reach out to you guys without their karmics finding out. Because we have, here's the Hierophant with the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And this is you, Divine Feminine. So this mountain for the treacherous enemy, this is the Divine Masculine that's in a, you know, commitment. With the Page of Pentacles trying to reach out to you guys. They're trying to give you that Tenth Pentacle. But... Even though a lot of them I feel are already, because they're not going to, a lot of them I don't feel are going to reach out to you. They're all, they're, they're still in a commitment. A lot of them are already working towards out of that commitment because they know that we don't want, we're not going to, we're not going to be in this situation with them if they're still in a commitment. That's why we've waited this long. Like we, we didn't, you know, like make any moves towards them and like put ourselves in a third party. Oh my god, I'm just not realizing. Oh, there's another card and it's a good one. I missed one, so I'll have to read that afterwards. But um, their, their karmic, hence Hierophant relationship partner, is trying to catch them while they're trying to give you this offer. Wow, you guys, that's what I'm hearing. This is another very positive card, so I'm going to read it. 44 is a fire or the flame or whatever. That's like, that's our card, you guys. Fire will envelop your heart. 
Fire will envelop your heart. The fire or passion can refer to a romantic interest or it can refer to any other consuming interest or pursuit. If it is a romantic interest, then you will most likely meet. Oh my God, you guys, y'all are meeting them. This is crazy. I'm getting chills. That's why I love these cards. Um, I can't, I can't make this shit up. If it is a romantic interest, then you will most likely meet a person who will widely excite you, will stir up your passions or sexually arouse you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, if you are already involved in a situation or are married, the picture implies that you could meet someone new or it could be that re your relationship with your partner will reach a new high where passions are, are unleashed. The picture's influence is of rather short duration. As passion cannot endure for a long time without burning itself out, so enjoy it to the utmost. In position one, there is no warning of danger, so that the passion is good for the for your soul. If the picture does not refer to a romantic interest, then it points to something in your life that at this time um, that you are totally involved in. It could be your work, your sport, or anything else that stirs your passion. The picture tells you to let the passion reign. Take advantage of the beneficial uh, uses of fire. It is interesting that in Chinese philosophy, fire is a good sign. It indicates flourishment much like the sun provides. Also, bad spirits are kept away by the fire. Thus, if the fire comes up for you in position one, take advantage of it while you have the chance. You guys, how many cards would, were talking about that? I have the fire. The fire, you guys. The fire and the pig are together. So that tells me it's definitely going to go positive for this these twin flames uh whoever i'm reading to for you guys it's it's awesome which i am so excited for that's i hope this resonates to everyone because this is awesome now i'm gonna go ahead and do my regular traditional tarot um spirit guides can you please tell us what the divine masculine is planning Woo! Her guides, thank you so much for helping us, for deciphering these messages and communicating with us today, spirit guides and guardian angels. Please show us, how does a divine masculine plan to move forward with, with this divine feminine? Can you show us what is a divine masculine planning? I'm, I'm curious, what is a divine masculine planning right now, spirit guides? Please clarify, give us clear and clear messages communicate with me clearly on what the divine masculine is working towards at this time when it comes to the divine feminine my guardian angels and spirit guides please show us what is a divine masculine planning planning at this time with the divine feminine what is he planning at this time spirit guides please no cards come on okay these two <laughs> okay, more cards. Ooh, loving it so far. Spirit guides, please show us what is a divine masculine feeling as far as what is he planning on? What is he planning on with a divine feminine? Spirit guides, what is the divine masculine planning on? with his divine feminine what are his, his intentions and his plans with the divine feminine intentions and plans with the divine feminine spirit guides please what are his intentions and plans with the divine feminine spirit guides i want to know exactly how this divine masculine feels oh spirit guides please show us how does the divine masculine feel what are his intentions with the divine feminine this one Spirit guides, show us, please. What are the divine masculine's plans? This divine feminine. What are his intentions with the divine feminine? Spirit guides, please, what is the divine masculine's plans? And what is he working on? And what are his plans? What is he working on? What are his plans? Spirit guides, please show me. What does the divine what is the divine masculine working on? What are his plans? Spirit guides, please show me. What's the divine masculine working on? And what are his plans? Yeah, he's working. You guys, so far I'm seeing 
he's planning. But what is he planning on? That's what we need to figure out. Uh, two more cards, please, Spirit Guides. What is a Divine Masculine working on? What are his plans with the Divine Feminine Spirit Guides? What is a Divine Masculine working on? And what are his plans, Spirit Guides? What is the Divine Masculine working on? And what is his plans? Okay. What is the divine working on and what are his plans, spirit guides? What is the divine masculine working on? What are his plans, spirit guides? What is the divine working on? One more. One more card. What is the divine masculine working on? Okay. Clarifying cards. All right. So far, what I'm getting... Okay. Let me just go over the cards. The first row, we have the strength card. Next to that, we have the Queen of Wands. Lastly, you guys, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. So what he's thinking of, I feel like he's really trying to restrain himself. He wants, I feel like a lot of them want to, like, now, they, they've had the epiphany moment. If you guys saw the other messages that I just... Um, the video that I had just posted, a lot of them already have the knowing that they want to be with the divine feminine, but they aren't able to make any moves immediately. So that's where they're at right now. I feel a lot of them are just trying to like get their life in order. They're trying to get their self themselves right for union, like, you know, cleaning the mess up basically. So that's what they're doing. They're taming themselves. They're trying to like, but at the same time, they're trying to restrain themselves because they want to, a lot of them want to like, I feel it strongly, strongly that the divine masculine wants to move forward like right now, but has to do stuff before he can move forward. And this is him trying to be strong, restrain himself, but also taming himself. All three represented by strength. Excuse me. Next to that, they have the Queen of Wands. And that's how that's what they're trying to restrain themselves from. You guys, you guys, they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as someone that's confident and passionate. And a lot of you guys are in a lot of you guys are in that space where you're like moving forward confidently in your life. And that's why they're trying to restrain themselves because they see that you are moving forward. This is a confident moving forward um, queen. She's moving towards her endeavors and a lot, and she's very creative. And a lot of you guys have probably started doing things creatively in your life. You know, I don't know whatever, however that applies to you. Like you're seeing possibilities in your life, and that's why you're moving confidently. That's what the Queen of Wands is. She is having creative endeavors in her you're you're thinking about creative endeavors and, and thinking about ways to move forward and he sees that in you so you're moving forward confidently as much what does that do to the divine masculine that makes him want to move forward but he has to remain strong because a lot of them aren't aren't in a place in their life where they're able to actually move forward confidently like you are moving forward confidently they're trying to get their their life straight but this is what their intention is. Ultimately, Ace of Cups is what they're they're moving towards. That's what they want. Second row, we have Nine of Wands, followed by Ten of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles. And that's them. If you guys can see the way this looks, because that's how I see it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's backwards, like on my. This is. Can you see that? Does it make sense? This is a divine masculine. He saw. He he, he saw the divine feminine carry these. Sorry. He's seen you guys carrying these wands for a while. 
he has seen us divine feminines carry all of these wands for a very long time. So now we're like this when it comes to the relationship. And this is him right here, right here, right here. Seven of Pentacles. Looking at how the divine feminine has progressed to this. You see that, guys? If I can get these. They don't really, they're very flimsy, so I apologize. if I'm trying to depict the picture. I'm trying to show you how it res how I'm getting the messages. Because uh, you see it? We went from carrying all of these wands to now we're defensive when it comes to this relationship. We're not as open. I, I don't really. We're not as open minded. You know, we've kind of closed off because now we're not we're not willing to take what we've been getting all of these years or months or however long you've been in this relationship. So now we have a wall up. <laughs> this is, oh, I'm this is where we were. This is how we are now. You know, we were, we're a little guarded, but we're in the higher vibration of this queen of wands where we we're putting safe safe guards up a safe wall up it's not like an unhealthy wall where we're like paranoid about every man that comes our way we're just it's a healthy balance is what i'm trying to say she's a healthy she's bright and she's she's basically just doing what any other person would do in this given situation which is i'll hear you out and I will use my discernment, you know, in this situation. Now, I'm not just going to fall into your arms, Romeo. <laughs> so the Divine Masculine sees that we progressed into the Queen of Wands and, tech, and, and honestly into the Empress, which I'll get to now. And this is where they're at. They're contemplating how. Now, what am I going to do? How am I going to get to her? What am I going to do? This energy really hasn't changed. Last row, I have the Empress the star temperance and then we have high priestess okay what i'm getting immediately is here we go he knows we're the empress we went from the queen of wands and progressed these numbers were progressing from nine to ten Right? Let me go back and get these cards. Like I said, we're every queen. We're the queen of wands. We're the queen of wand, uh, air. We're the queen of cups. We're the queen of pentacles. And once we've gotten to, to uh, master all of those energies, we become the empress. <sighs> these cards. I'm sorry, guys. They're just not standing. This is 9, 10, and then you've got the queen. You've got the queen. We've progressed. We've grown from the 9, 10 to the queen. And what's, what's the next level up? The empress. We went up to the empress. So now, he's like, well, I really don't know how to approach her. She's no longer, not even a queen. She's the queen of all queens. The empress. That's right. We have really grown. And with the star and the temperance, we've done our healing. You know, with the star, we followed our path. We followed our path in this journey. A lot of us have actually done the work, put in the work. We've healed. We've followed our star, our guiding star. With temperance, this is us healing and balancing our own energies going through a lot of us have gone through the kundalini awakening a lot of us are still going through that but we've done major major chakra healings that's us temp uh with temperance healing these two cards both mean healing but uh, also with the emperor em empress excuse me a lot of us are really coming into our own power again we're really coming into our own power 
and a lot of us are getting, you know, maybe are getting a lot of attention because we're no longer limiting ourselves to just the divine masculines. And so basically, what are his intentions? Because that was the question. A lot of them are, are still trying to figure out how to approach an empress. An empress that has healed and balanced herself out. And they know that because they feel when you're going through your healing and you've, you know, ascended to another level, they feel that. And they know that you're no longer, you know, just what, what we were before. You know, a lot of us were still codependent. We're no longer in that energy. A lot of us have spilled these two cups, healed from it followed our guiding star, become confident within ourselves. You know, we've, we've balanced our yin and our yang. And they have, they have no clue how to like reach out to us. And with the, and with, <laughs> with the high priestess, we have become, we have unlocked a lot of our gifts. We're not only the empress, we're also the high priestess where we've unlocked a lot of our gifts through this journey. A lot of us have gifts, but we're also, we have maintained and stood our ground, whereas we're not as open to our emotions. So a lot of us, I feel, have become more secretive with our emotions. We pull back. Um, but at the same time, and that's something that we're marrying with them. I feel like they're very secretive with what their intentions are towards us. I feel like they're going to be moving forward, but they aren't telling us because I feel like, honestly, I feel like the Divine Masculine knows that he has to make this special and he's going to be, he's going to come back with a mission. That's how I feel. Like they're on a mission. They're on a mission to get back their, their Divine Feminines and it's a surprise and it's going to be a secret. So we're both holding our emotions back. But it's not in a negative form. It's not like, I feel like a lot of us are on a high vibration. That's just the truth. A lot of us divine feminines are all on, our, on a high vibration now. And so nothing that we can do really, you know, unless you're blatantly being disrespectful to the divine masculine. It's, and it's not like that because we're not like that. We're at such a high vibration that we send them love and peace. That we've let go on such a healthy level it's love and peace, you know. I want to clarify the seven of pentacles, spirit guys. Please clarify. Oh, sh again, you guys. I got the page of pentacles again. Spirit guys, please clarify the page of pent. I mean, the seven of pentacles and how and what the divine masculine is contemplating. Thank you. That was really strong. Woo! Come on, you guys. It's It can't be any clearer than this. First of all, we got the page of pentacles twice. What I wanted to clarify is what exactly are they contemplating? What are they planning on? How? Are, what are they trying to figure out? Because that's what the Seven of Pentacles means to me. And I just felt like it was them trying to figure out how to reach out to us. And Spirit just clarified. Yeah, again, they're trying to figure out how to send us a message. How to offer us something, um, you know, stable and like reliable. That's what this, this card means. Like... Something that's actually in the physical, tangible world in the 3D. Because they know they haven't done anything in the 3D. I'm sorry. Divine Masculines. <laughs> Not to bash you guys, but where have you guys been all this time? It's about freaking time, right? So, yeah. This is the Magician with the Lovers and the Page of Pentacles. They're trying to... They're trying to manifest this is the magician they're trying to put forth some action into creating a relationship into union into coming into a relationship with the divine feminine that's what he's he's sitting there thinking hard like okay what am i gonna do she's an empress she has way more pentacles than this she's got a lot going on now she's moved on she's she's an empress how do I move forward in manifest in manifesting this? How do I move forward? So that's just clarifying that. I mean, I, I can't make this shit up. I love it. Um, I just love it. Uh, there's really not to me. This was pretty pretty clear. So I don't have anything else to clarify. Um, I want to do the tarot of sexual magic, but I feel like I should do that 
you know what? I'll do it now. If you guys aren't comfortable watching those cards, you can click out. Click off now because I'm going to do the tarot sexual magic right, right now to um, just kind of like get a little more clarification. And you guys, I really appreciate your support. If you guys could comment, I like hearing your feedback. I enjoy um, interacting with you guys. And also, if you, um, what was I going to say? Um, please like, yeah, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support and that really helps me get the, get my videos out there, you know? So please subscribe and like and share. Thank you guys so much. What do we divine feminines want to know? Um, <laughs> okay. On a romantic sexual level. How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? And by the way, I've been feeling a lot of passionate energy from the Divine Masculine. How does the Divine Masculine feel? Recently, I've been feeling a lot from my Divine Masculine. So, Spirit Guides, please show us. How does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Spirit Guides, how does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Um, that level how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine spirit guides please please show us how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine spirit guides Ooh, okay here's <laughs> i love that card i'll show it to you guys if you guys are familiar with this spread, um, how does Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Spirit guides, please. How does Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? How does Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Spirit guides, please. My spirit guides show us an accurate depiction of how the Divine Masculine currently feels about the Divine Feminine. Spirit guides. Please speak to us, spirit guys. Tarot, sexual magic, show us. <sighs> yeah, that one. How does the divine masculine feel? Oh. Uh, what is this? Oh. Divine masculines. How do you guys feel about us, divine feminines, divine masculines? Tell me. How do you feel about us, divine masculines? Tell me. How do you guys feel about us? The masculines, show us what you want to tell us. How do you guys feel about us? Oh God, there was one that one I felt it. I want three more cards, please. Divine masculine feel about the divine feminine. How's divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Okay, how does divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Oh, too many cards. Wow, a lot of these cards came up on another reading, on one of my other previous readings. Um, energy is very that tells me that a lot of you divine feminines have stood your ground and you guys haven't given in to this shift which i feel like that's why there's a shift oh that was good it was the sun and the three of pentacles and it's a beautiful card a lot of them feel this love for you guys okay i want two more cards spirit guides how does a divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? I have too many cards. I just want two more cards, please. Divine masculine feel about the divine feminine. How does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? These two. Thank you. Wow. And the sun came up again, right? I said it was the sun, I think. Okay, so it came up again. What's at the bottom of the deck? <laughs> nine of the nine of wands okay 
first card that came up. <laughs> the High Priestess. Boy, the High Priestess came up in the other, the one that I just did right now. God, these nails. I swear I'm not getting nails done again because I can't do anything with them. They're cute and all, but they're getting on my nerves. The High Priestess. So... The way they see us is that we're see we're we're doing our see how she's like focused on herself. A lot of us are exactly that, you know. Hello, that's what I am. I read cards, so a lot of us are going into working on ourselves, um, exploring our gifts. That's a big one. We're now that we have healed and we've gone through um, opening our gifts. A lot of us are really getting to know that about ourselves what our gifts are working on us focusing on our craft you know they see us as very intuitive and really just getting into our own gifts our own what what we're here for we're here for that let me just look at this card a little more because i'm noticing <gasps> some stuff Uh-huh. Okay, so this girl has two keys in here. And that's basically it. The keys to me mean that we have we're planning, they know that we're we're onto something, that we're no longer sharing our plans with them, that we're moving forward. But the keys mean secret to me. Like we're keeping a lot of these thoughts to ourselves. So whatever you guys are planning on, like I said, a lot of you guys have been holding your, um, holding your ground and not making it known to them. You're not open to them as you used to. And what does that put him? That's a divine masculine. He's in the nave of chalices, but in this desk, I mean desk, in desk, he's on the desk. So maybe that resonates with you guys in whatever way, but, um, in this deck, he's, trying to he's frustrated the divine masculine is frustrated and that's clear i think i've been channeling that too with the strength card like he's he's wanting to do it but he can't like he wants this with you guys and that's what i'm getting clearly <sighs> I don't know if some of you guys have moved on into a new relationship um, or they see another man trying to um, approach you in some kind of way romantically and it's frustrating him because he feels like time is running out. I feel like with this deck, he's feeling, that's what it is, they feel like, whew, oh, I, I can, f I, I feel like. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming them. They feel like time is running out and it's giving them, it's giving them anxiety. That I'm feeling like that wave like you know when you get waves of anxiety, like they know time is running out and they're feeling anxious because they're frustrated and they don't know how to like make it happen now cuz they don't have the means to do it now based on whatever situation they're in. But they're either freaking out because they see that you're moving on with someone else, someone's approaching you romantically, or they're freaking out because they want this now and they know you're, you know, they know that you're moving on and you're not sharing anything with this, the high priestess next to this, like you're standing your ground. Next to that, we have the 10 of, what is this? The 10 of pentacles. So this is what they want. Like, <laughs> he's like, this is... This is us. We're at our glory. Whether you're in a relationship with someone else or not, you are having a lot of us are really just comfortable at where we're at. You know, we're we're just finally coming to peace. She's at peace. You see that? She's like, I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm at peace. And they see us, whether they're watching us from afar, remote viewing, or really stalking us. They see that we're actually at peace. And what does that... This person feels like... like I feel like he... Again, I'm getting the same vibe. 
where he's like, I want to, I'm so close. See, that's, that's exactly what it feels like. It's like so close. I want to now, but I don't, I feel like they just have to do a few things to get things right, to be there. Divine feminines. That's what it feels like. Like he's that close to us that he wants to like, you know how you get that feeling. I'm so close. I can taste it. This is it. I'm so close. I can taste it. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, taste it. <laughs> We're naked. <laughs> um, well, take it the way it resonates. But like, you see how he's like, oh, and it's almost like, you know what? I think a, a lot of us know this way too well. You guys, <laughs> a lot of us know it way too well. And I feel like a lot of us, you see how she has the grapes in front of his face? And it's almost like she's dangling it in front of him, like saying, take it if you want it, take it if you want. It. And yeah, a lot of us are in that space where you're like, you know, like, like I'm getting the carrot in front of the donkey and, and they're like, I can almost taste it, you know, and I don't feel like we're doing it to, to mock them. Not at all. It's more of like, if you want it, come and get it. That's, that's the vibe. If you want it, come and get it. You see how she's got yeah oh my gosh that's crazy you guys i'm getting a lot of messages but she's got the grapes in front of his face like if you want it to come and get it and you see like you know you want this i'm the di i'm the fucking empress come on i'm the divine feminine you know you want this and the divine masculine he's feeling like i'm so close i can almost taste it i want but i have to wait I want, but I have to wait. So anyways, that's where, that's that. <laughs> and underneath it, we have, if I can get these cards up, the five of chalices. And it's, in this, let me just look at the card. Yeah, you guys, this is them. He looks like he's kneeling and extending. What is he? He's offering. This is the offer. This is the offer. After you're like, come and get it if you want it. Come and get it if you want it. And then this is the offer. And they're like, well, I want it. I want it. And here's the offer. And he's he's got I don't know, I feel like some of them have packed up their belongings and moved on from whatever they were in, whether it's a karmic situation, a family situation, a whatever shit they had going on. They packed all of their stuff. See, that's the thing. They're getting ready. You know, otherwise he wouldn't have all of this stuff. I feel like he would have like already like the picture would be it would look different. But this is him saying, I've got my shit together. He's got it all together, packed up and ready and offering something. And this is us like think she's just sitting there like thinking and but a lot of us are going to accept because you see her. She's accepting what he's offering her. Her hand is out, even though she's. Because again, that's that's where we're at, you guys. That's a very good depiction of where we are. We are open. Like the thing is, it's like you you've got to come co with a concrete offer. You've got to come correct. And if you come correct, and if what you're telling me is making sense, I mean, come on. Let's just be. Let's just have common sense. If you're gonna come out and you know, act funny, then who's gonna, who's gonna want to accept that, right? But if you're going to come and apologize or, you know, like, come correct. If, if you are owed an apology and they come with an apology, which that's what it looks like to me, he's saying, you know, I got you something and I'm sorry. And she's like defensive, but she's like, okay, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm willing to listen to you is the vibe she's got. She's got like that defensive, but I'm willing to open up and listen to you because you're coming correct. He's coming correct. He's putting in the right effort. And oh boy. I almost feel like... <laughs> 
Okay, you guys, look at these two. Okay, look at these two images, you guys. It's it's crazy. This is what I'm getting. I don't know if you guys are going to make plans to meet somewhere publicly, but that's exactly what I'm getting from here. You guys are going to meet somewhere publicly. He's going to tell you what happened. You know, this is a public outdoor area. And it's going to gradually move into, God, if only we, you know, like, you guys thinking about this like trying to find a place publicly where you can actually do this you know like don't do it <laughs> I'm just saying I mean y'all are grown but don't do it like seriously it's gonna it's gonna awaken awaken these emotions between you guys because that is exactly how you feel about your twin flame 24 hours seven days a week I swear it is so freaking hard but they feel it just like we do they feel exactly the same way we do so once we get to this I feel like we're this is a public setting this is a public setting they're almost it's almost like they're gonna you both are gonna want to go into this mode but want to conceal it because you're in a public setting if that makes any sense you're 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 in a public like okay let's talk it out and now that we've got everything resolved it's going to feel powerful to the point where you're just going to want to jump right into this. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. I personally would want to, you know, as much as I would want to dive right into this, I really want to take the time to, like, go, go slow, right? But a lot of us are, that's what they're going to want to do. You know, like, oh, my God, now that we've gotten this figured out and now we're on the same page, now we finally talk things through. I wish we could right now, but I realize we're out in public, but I wish we could right now. Then how do we hide in public? Like, that's why there's bushes and stuff. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> However, you know, and then, and then next to that is, again, we have the strength card, which is what? If I can get this card. Okay. So next to this, we have the strength card and the strength card again is you know, I don't think you guys are going to go there because a lot of you guys are going to be trying to tame that. You guys are going to be like, okay, no. We're just going to try to, like, plan for the next time. So you guys are going to try to, like, conceal. Not conceal, but, like, hold back those emotions. You know what I mean? Like, tame the passion. <laughs> and then the last um, row we have here. And this is really going back to the previous energy. This is old energy, I really feel. Not not old, I'm sorry, not old energy, but this is how they feel we're at. Like again, this this was a card that came up on the previous uh reading where we're at the eight of cups. So they know that we're a lot of us have already made the decision to throw in the towel and move on. And that's where they're at. They're trying to like Hold on to the Empress because they've realized we're the Empress. They've realized that's who we are. We've taken our power. We're, we've moved on. The Empress was right next to the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, a lot of us are moving on. See, here's the thing. She's, if you guys look at this. I'm going to show you. So this, and I say old energy because this was in the last spread, but it's it's not old. This is where we're at, right? This is where we're at right now. This is it. This is the divine feminine. Moving on because we're, we know we're the empress. And a lot of us, again, this is a tarot sexual magic cause, so it can get really explicit and... If you look at this card, do you see what she's holding? This glare, do you see what she's holding? So I feel like a lot of us have really taken our own power, even within our own sexuality, where we know we're in charge of our own lives. When it comes to everything, it's like we know how to make ourselves happy in every aspect. That's just how I, I'm, what I'm getting from her. She's like, I really... I'm okay. I can make myself happy in every area, including 
in this area. Like, I know how to make myself happy. I don't need anyone. And that's what she, that's what I'm getting from this empress. Like, we, we've moved on because we've mastered ourselves in every area. Like, sure, we're always ascending and we're still, we're always learning. But we've gotten a lot down in this time frame that we've been in this journey. We've gotten a lot down. And then, of course, we have the sun. Ultimately, he's going to convince, he is going to find a way is how I feel. With the last row, he knows that we're moving on, but he's going to find a way to bring, his, he, to bring this energy to this energy. You see that? This is like their way of trying to convince the divine feminine not to move forward. Because they know that we've got everything down pack and that we've already figured out our way to be happy within ourselves with the Empress. So here's the sun. Ultimately, that's what their goal is. That's what their intention is. That's what they want. So there, this is like, the to me, it means trying to find a, a way to convince the divine feminine. And I kind of feel like if you look at these two cards together, it's like, I'm leaving. I'm I'm walking away. And he's like, but stay. And eventually you're like okay i'll stay <laughs> this is it this is union right here the sun coming together and and you know finding that middle ground so and then at the bottom of the spread we have the nine of wands so once we get to this was this was the energy i was talking about when we like after this after they reach out to us, this is like the really getting to know each other, talking out our issues, understanding what happened between us in this journey. Like where, what happened? <clears throat> what happened to you, Divine Masculine? You see you're asking like what, what happened? What, what took you so long? So after he extends this, this is us saying, okay, so talk to me. What happened? Tell me what happened. And then you go through all of this other stuff. So eventually we will. This is a really good spread, you guys. And it's like these two spreads are exactly the same energy. Like two different spreads. Really, I, I can't. This is awesome. I'm getting chills, you guys. Like I, I, I'm like, is <laughs> just comment below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. It's. It's really great. I don't see anything negative, and I'm. And if I did see something negative, I would tell you guys. But that's, this is really good. I don't feel the need to clarify because this has been pretty crystal clear to me as well. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much, and talk to you guys later.